Merry Christmas! I'm here today with this chit chat get ready with me kind of tutorial thing. I don't know, I just use so many different products though. So probably be a pain to recreate unless you get this look, then just keep on watching. Bye! Not bye. Just keep on watching. Yeah. I'll see you in two more seconds and I'll be like, hi. Okay. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas everyone, I'm filming a get ready with me today and I don't know, I have no clue what I'm doing but I'm filming on a new camera because I got a camera for Christmas and it's supposed to be 180p. I hope it's just great quality and I hope the microphone is good because on my other camera the microphone is eh. Anyways, I'm just going to start off with my wet and wild concealer as I always do. I go in a triangle down my nose, around my forehead. It's Christmas, I'm pretty excited I guess. We don't do anything that cool for Christmas so uh, I got a laptop and also a camera both very exciting things. Got other little stuff too, like I got this cardigan. If you know me, um, I wear cardigans basically every day. Blending, 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 blending. For Christmas Eve yesterday, I had gold glitter on my eyes, and now there's just kind of glittery specks all across my face, and I don't know what to do about it, because. You guys probably know, once there's glitter on your face, it's hard to get off. Ooh, I know what I'm gonna do. Forgot, I just bought this ColourPop eyeshadow. It's like a cranberry color. I bought it with Christmas in mind, and I was being all unsure of what to use. But I remembered I got this little buddy. Yeah, anyways, brows. Since I'm using the Vice 4 palette as my mirror, I'm just gonna use delete from the palette in my brows today. This isn't going too well. It's a bad brow day. So you can see my brows are looking pretty rough. I've been trying to let them grow in a little bit. And things aren't going well for me. Oxy 211 Concealer Brush. I'm gonna use my Benefit Boing Concealer to try and fix this disaster. Anyways, my brow could be better. I'm gonna zoom in to see what kind of... Ooh. Yeah, you can see just how rough my brow really is. Embarrassing, I've been trying to perfect my eyebrows for 25 minutes. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've gotten them to a good place now, so we're just gonna move right along. Anyways, I'm going to be using hot chocolate from the Anastasia self-made palette um, just in my crease, but first I'm going to be laying down buttery uh, from my crease upward. You know what, never mind. I'm just going to take it all over. I'm not using a primer just because um not feeling it. I don't know. I just don't wanna put in that much. 
extra time, even though it's only like 30 seconds, but... Onto this Anastasia fluffy brush, I'm just going to be putting hot chocolate in my crease. Ready with me is not nearly as chatty as a chatty get ready with me should be. Um, anyways, if you guys want to share what you got for Christmas or what you got other people for Christmas or what your holiday traditions are in the comments down below, I would love to hear them. Um, if anybody ever wants to request any makeup looks feel free to request them as well cuz it's nice to have a little bit of inspiration anyways I'm just slowly building up this color in my crease making it dark as Making the Shadow Couture palette by Anastasia and Morocco, which is right here, which is like my favorite matte brown ever. Um, I'm just going to be putting that in the crease as well because it was looking a little bit too cool toned for me. The shadow out. To this self-made palette this little fining eye brush it's an angled fluffy brush I'm going to take treasure which is right here to highlight I'm going to be taking this cranberry shade from ColourPop it's called Stereo. So I just use my finger with these and then I'm going to pop that right onto my lid. The inner corner bare so I have room for a highlight. That up into the outer edge of my crease just a little bit so I can blend. And with that same Anastasia fluffy brush, I'll just blend out the edges. I'm really excited that I did get a new camera. And I'm not really sure, because I didn't ask for a camera. My mom just, she just went out and did it, which I'm not complaining, but like, I don't know, I just don't know anything about this camera, so we'll see how good it is. Guys, I'm going to take that same Luxie concealer brush just to sharpen up the outer corner. I've been getting really into like making all my wings and eyeshadows point kind of far outwards though. Just to like connecting with my brow. So I used to make them connect with my brow, but I just don't think that's as flattering as making it, like, go outwards. My bags look really especially bad today. Anyways, I'm just going to highlight my inner tear duct with treasure. With this... Um, bleh, bleh, bleh. With this Bobbi Brown smudge brush, I'm going to take hot chocolate and very lightly just run it underneath my lash line. Connect it to my little eyeshadow wing. Two thirds of the way in and meet it with where I put treasure. This is such a tutorial, it's not a chatty, get ready with me. And I'm just going to take 
Go on to the same brush, but bring it down a little bit further than I did with hot chocolate. this look is lacking the pizzazz that I want it to have, I'm going to take Underhand from the Urban Decay Vice 4 palette right there onto the, the, the I can't talk, onto this flat brush from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and just load up my brush, spritz it with just water and then I'm going to Paint it onto the center of my lid. God, yes. That helped. Of extra brightness. More festive. In the eastern part of the Midwest. Um, it's just been so warm for Christmas. Usually we have like two feet of snow and like terrible icy conditions and but it's like 60 degrees. Taking underhand underneath my iris. Um but yeah it's it's been so warm and it's really weird and I don't like that because I wanted a little bit of snow. Like, usually it snows every single day for months and months, but it snowed once. It's too tight line, and with my waterline, I'm just going to be taking this Wet n' Wild black pencil. Yeah, just also tight line. I'm very excited because for the first time, I'm getting products sent for free to review. In case it falls through or whatever, I won't say exactly what it is. Like, I'm not getting paid or anything, but I'm getting them for free to do a review. I feel like I'm making my way up in the world. Not so much for YouTube, because, like, <laughs> I only have 40 subscribers or so. But, um, on Instagram, I have, like, more than 900, so... Oh, that's a considerable amount and for like a small business that has a very small following advertising to 900 people is quite a bit so yeah I get to do a review on some products and I'm super duper excited for that I'm gonna be taking my Bare Minerals Lash Primer and my Benefit Their Real Mascara not gonna be wearing falsies today because that's an annoying thing to put up with in my opinion for like an all-day venture like I've gotten pretty good at putting falsies on at this point just for like pictures and stuff but I hate wearing them I'm a vegetarian like six months ago and like it's I, I don't really struggle with it at all like not eating my meat but it is hard on holidays because it's not hard on Thanksgiving, honestly, because we had mac and cheese. But like yesterday at um, Christmas Eve with my dad's mom, it was terrible because I don't know. There was just like no food that was not meat, really. Like there were deviled eggs. No, that was that was kind of a struggle and we'll see how it is today. Mash potatoes and I can just kinda go crazy with that. I was recently in a small car accident. Our transmission line got broken and we are now renting a car. Anyways on to like contouring and No, I just dropped that. I didn't shatter my bronzer. I've never actually shattered like an eyeshadow or any product, which I'm lucky for that. So anyways, this is just the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and I'm gonna bronze up my face. My temples as well. 
Und anderen Jaw. I used to do contour, then blush, then highlight, but now I'm doing contour, highlight, then blush. Because I have like kind of, I don't know, maybe my cheeks aren't small, but just like the way that I am very aggressive in applying my blush and contour, I would kind of run out of room for my highlighter, and my highlighter would be like in the same realm as like my under eye bag area so I don't know I it if I do my highlight first then it just gives me a good place for my blush and then my highlights in the right spot and not up too high so that's just the order of things now so I'm gonna take my jelly pong pong cosmetics um, little cream highlighter which I got in the December boxy charm which I'm not doing an unboxing yeah an unboxing because um, the audio was really messed up in that video and I just didn't feel like refilming it so yeah I don't know you can just look up any other <laughs> youtubers unboxing it's not of this highlighter Um, yeah. Then just down the center of my nose, my cupid's bow. I love cream highlighters because, like, they're just refreshing and they look more natural on the skin. I'm gonna contradict what I just said and take it from the self made palette and just run that over my highlight to brighten it. With, since it has like that cream base underneath it, it still looks more natural than it would if it didn't have the cream base underneath. And also, it just makes it last a lot, lot longer. Whoa. Mm. Damn, girl. The Studio Makeup Blush in the shade Wildflower. I just dropped it. Um, we dust it. kind of meld my contour and highlight together. And lastly, lipstick. Take my, this is also from the Sum December Boxy Charm, so I guess this is almost an unboxing since I showed you three things from it. The Bella Pierre Cinnamon Shade Lip Liner. And just outline my lips real quick. So this is the lip liner by itself, similar to MAC Coral. If you wanted a good dupe, I don't have them like to swatch side by side or anything, but I just know from pictures. Anyways, from the December Boxy Charm, this is the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in the shade Amar Americano. And I'm just gonna top off my liner with that. Soft little ombre going on. This is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this sort of t uh, tutorial-ish chit-chat. Get ready with me. I hope you had a magical, wonderful, amazing Christmas, whether you celebrate it or not. Just I wish a good holiday or a good regular day. Anyways, if you like this video, it would mean a lot to me if you gave the video a thumbs up, commented down below, and subscribed. And I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.